I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If the hints from Therinfor are to be believed, we are all in terrible danger. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Céline is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Does Céline know about the threats against her? Can we send word? I've sent messages to the Empress, but it's impossible to know if she's received them. I'll arrange for an invitation at your discretion, Inquisitor. what we have we cannot neglect our soldiers training can we neglect roads our allies cannot take the same route through the mountains we did What, what? What can I do for you? I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. I thought you'd be more interested in sharing your opinions of elven culture. You are Dalish, are you not? Yes, I am. The Dalish are the best hope for preserving the culture of our people. Our people? You use that phrase so casually should mean more, but the Dalish have forgotten that, among other things. Oh, but you know the truth, right? While they pass on stories, mangling details, I walk the Fade. I have seen things they have not. Fine, you think we're terrible. What about the alienages full of elves who aren't Dalish? Why? What would it benefit some poor man in a Ferelden alienage to learn that his ancestors strode the land like gods? It would only make him bitter, or inspire him to take a foolish risk and get himself killed. You've decided his reaction for him. Perhaps I have. If you have questions and believe the answers will help, ask. Are all Dalish elves like my clan? No. Your clan was unique in having enough interest in human affairs to send you to spy upon the Divine's meeting. As your clans have been separate for so long, they have all changed. 
adapting to the lands in which they live. Some are no more than bandits. Others trade freely with humans. And some have disappeared entirely into the forests. Is elven magic different from the magic used by humans? No and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. To be honest, I don't see it as different from any other magic. It's a means to an end. Indeed. The problem is that under the Chantry, blood magic is forbidden, so only criminals practice it. While in Tevinter, magisters compete with each other instead of keeping their volatile friends in check. They always succeed through power, so they have never had the chance to learn another way. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Devinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past, and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvanan was the Empire. And Arlathan, its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees. And imagine wooden ramps or Dalish Erevels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches. Palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. You're taking over the duties of Menave? Yes. She said she was needed elsewhere and that I should serve the Inquisition to the best of my ability. What is she doing? I wasn't told. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid in the research of all creatures encountered in your efforts as leader of the Inquisition. What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. You were made tranquil. Yes, I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. 
What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Not optimal, given the facilities. Skyhold should be improved, or our efforts will continue to suffer. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. I'm sorry. So am I. Inquisitor? I was not expecting a visit. You had little interest in speaking to me privately before. But as dear Josephine says, it's never too late to make a friend. I hope I'm not disrupting anything. The commander was just delivering... the names of those we lost at Haven. You must blame me for this. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. You look out for your people. That's a good thing, is it? My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. True. They're our soldiers. They'll do what we need them to. If Corypheus is cold, I must be colder. War demands sacrifices of us all. it is. So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. Corypheus thinks we're beaten. By the time he finds us, we'll be legion. I know soldiers. I know our soldiers. Corypheus made a hundred enemies when he kicked down our door. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. You see this as a personal insult, don't you? If it's not personal for you, maybe it should be. The people flock to your banner, eager to fight for the Herald of Andraste. Their faith is a leash, and your Inquisition has taken hold of it. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen.
There is so little I remember. What if they're right? Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. Majestic. How is a place like this ever lost? You all right, sir? Of course. Scout Harding. Your worship. What's been going on? Sister Liliana glanced at me today. I think she's gonna have me killed. Shouldn't you be out there, scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> so, who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. Take care. Heard there was a big demon at the Seeker Fortress. Gotta say I don't mind missing that. Getting into your head. Messing around. <clears throat> what matters is that we defeated it and brought the Templars to our side. With all these damn demons popping up, I guess we need the help. book ah! I don't know what you're talking about wait are you blushing what would I have to blush about you tell me it's of no interest to you I'm certain it's a book I can see that it's one of Varric's tales Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. The latest chapter meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. Why don't I believe you? It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Me? No, I would never. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend you don't know this about me. Sent? Yes, Commander. But this violates everything we know about the Fade. So it does. Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him. 
or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. A demon, more likely. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. Cole helped me escape the Envy Demon. I already agreed to let him stay. It is one thing to know the boy is peculiar. It's another to know he is a demon. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right... Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty, here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover. Or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. And neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay.
Inquisitor, is there something I can do for you? I should really focus my attention on the injured. As you were. Your worship. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon, or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Corythia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but has improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone, although it must feel like it. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Are you all right, Leliana? <sighs> Are you? I suppose not. Haven was... trying. Let's see what we have. Inquisitor.
Here. Tell the commander that this is the perfect spot for the armory. Yes, ma'am. Right away. 